welcome you all to today's class. Today we'll be considering the topic, the last phase of the topic that we've been treating since last week, banking systems, the subtopic clearing of check. Okay, we'll move to the next slide, objectives, that is define clearing of check, analyze forms of crossing and other forms of special crossing, highlight forms or means of bank payment. Now, quickly we'll look at the definition of clearing of check. Clearing of check is a procedure through which a bank collects the proceeds of a check issued on another bank in favor of their customers, okay? Now, move to the forms of crossing. We have general crossing. We have special crossing. Now, general crossing, a check is said to be generally crossed when two transverse lines are drawn on it with the words and co and not negotiable written or not written in between the lines. Then we have the special crossing, a check. The special crossing has two transverse lines on it with the name of a particular bank written in between the lines. Now, don't forget the general crossing in between the transverse lines. What you see there is anco or not negotiable. But in the case of special crossing, you see the name of a bank in between the lines. Now, we have other forms of crossing, non-negotiable. It's a form of crossing in which the check cannot be paid to any person except the bearer of the name on the check. Then we have account payee only is a direction to the bank that the proceeds of the check are to be paid only into the account of the person or firm named on the check, that is the payee. Now we have other forms of check. We have still check, posited check, certified check, dishonored check. We move to the next slide, reasons for crossing a check. Now, what are the reasons? Because you may be wondering why do they need to cross it again? Is it compulsory? Now, it protects the owner against damage by loss or sex. Then another thing, owner must pay it to his account. The money must be paid into the owner's account. Now, it prevents the check from being paid over the counter. You cannot pay anything into the account via the check over the counter. Now, crossing restricts a check to a particular bank. That means you can only use it in a particular bank, then it can help in tracing the culprit in case the check was stolen. Now, we move to the next one, reasons for dishonoring checks. What are the reasons? One of it is when you have insufficient funds. The money you have there is not much. If the owner of the account is late, they can dishonor the check. Then if they have irregularities in the signature, then the check may be dishonored as well. Then when the account is not existing again, they may dishonor the check as well. When we have the issue of bankruptcy or frozen accounts, we have so many of them, okay? So we we'll move to the last slide. Forms or means of bank payments. These are the forms of bank payments. You can pay, make a payment through bank drafts, through bank certified check, through cashier's check, through bank money order, True Traveler's Check, Automated Teller Machine ATM, Western Union, MoneyGram, Payment Through Computer, and lastly, Electronic Banking. Okay, thank you very much. I will see you guys in the Google Classroom. Have a nice day.